Yo, what the fuck is up, man? Today we back with another reaction. We reacting today to Joe Budden um, going in on DJ Academics on his uh, new podcast. Um, shout out to Joe Budden, man, on his new podcast and, um, you know, his new background and, and his new location. Um, it looks like a dope setup, so salute to Joe Budden on that, man. Uh, let's get into a little bit about um, Joe Budden and what he had to say for um, DJ Academics posting uh, the interview he did with PNB Rock. Um, RIP to PNB Rock, man. It's it's a tragic on tragic day um, or tragic you know event that happened. Um, you know, rest in peace to him. Um, condolences to his family, everything like that, man. Uh, let's get into the video and see what Joe Budden had to say about it, man. Let's go. Because I see a lot of that going on in the internet. I want to put all accountability on the killer. Because the first part of this is, even if all these variables are in play, I don't think in my brain at 12 in the afternoon or 11 in the, or yeah, 12.30, because it was 1.40 or some shit at the mm -hmm. time. So mm -hmm. I don't think at 12.30 in the afternoon, while I'm sitting with my uh, girlfriend mm -hmm. in a crowded family eatery mm -hmm. that somebody's coming in to shoot me two times in my chest mm -hmm. over some material. I don't. Items. I don't know how likely I would be in that seat. It's bad. Be like, <clears throat> we just, think about that. Nah, we just fucked. Somebody up. ran in there in the daytime. Over no, this is the crazy. Got part. the jewelry because he didn't have the jewelry on. Uh, right in the in the mm -hmm. in the video. They got the jewelry and still and did still that. Him. That's what I That's was That's some of the scariest shit ask, in the universe. Um, I was going to ask. I didn't know if it came out. Um, did he Did he put up a fight? Or I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. Because I know he was jewelry-less on the videos. He didn't oh, have so any saying. jewelry on. So I don't know if he was non-compliant or any. And I don't want to sound. You know what I mean? Like like that's blaming him. Yeah. yeah. No. I don't, and, yeah. Not, and not I don't want to sound. Like, I'm just saying, just like, trying to imagine why, why, why you, why, why you, why you shoot? Yeah. But a lot of times these these niggas are scared with these guns. You blink yeah. wrong and they shooting. That's too. And that's, that's the fucked up part. Like these niggas ain't trained. They not going to the gun range. They don't have no actual training with guns. They, I, and I won't assume him to be non-compliant. I'm all purely speculative. Yeah, that's what I, I won't assume him, him to be non-compliant with his girl there. It's a different. It's a different fight. Mm -hmm. It's a totally like, different ball game. If you got the drop, then you got it. And I don't like, even if you want... walk up to me at the table, listen. When I when I when Webb was giving me all that jewelry and I wore that chain and ran up there, it was in the afternoon when a nigga stood right up on me, showed me his weapon, so you know take it off. It well, goddamn! If you this if you got this close of a drop, mm -hmm. here you go. Now let me go think of where I went wrong. Wait, why am I, why here, am I here with, with this? this on? Mm -hmm. Yep. I didn't need that to was... be here with this, right? So it's like, uh, no, nah. no, nah, I, I don't even want to. Um, but again, we oh, touch on this, but you know, Ack had him on the show a week ago, and he was talking about how he be in spots with his girl, and niggas be wanting to beef, and he said he'll peep the beef before it even starts. Like you know how niggas start. To I saw the clip, and I hate that I saw it. Yeah. And niggas I hate that I saw that poly, clip. But I hate that I saw that clip. I hate that Act put that clip out. This was my exact Adam Twenty Two argument yeah. was, mm -hmm. about sensitivity and just, just you got to be sensitive to certain things, right? If I have this piece of content where he explained exactly what he did, no, well, he explained a week prior to it manifesting itself in real time and in real life. I don't know if I will push it. Uh, I can't put that out yeah. nah. because at the end, while alive, he's describing his partner mm -hmm. and he's talking about the role that your partner plays mm -hmm. in those instances. Mm -hmm. And and I don't have nothing bad to say about it because as a man, we've all been there where we peeped something and our partner maybe didn't feel it was mm -hmm. that serious. Or I've been with dudes. Completely oblivious. Fam, yeah. I've been with dudes and they don't peep what's going on. So yes. you know your girl, unless she come from a street situation mm -hmm. and yeah. background she not gonna peep what you see so he described that in this clip 
And then a week later, or however many, that not is, very long after. A week, they said. It ha- well, I don't know, because I don't know when they recorded sure, sure, that. Sure, I don't yeah, know yeah. nothing. But shortly after, it comes to life, that exact shit. Now, the, the young lady was there at the table. That is my partner. That is my daughter's dad. I'm traumatized differently already. Uh-huh. That's true. I posted the picture. The internet is going to fry me. They already uh, are they frying are. her. Yeah, because of the lack of sensitivity that I speak yeah. of. Uh-huh. But I posted a picture. I quick, I deleted it. The internet is frying me. And now there's a clip that says I was slipping before this. Before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not putting that clip out because that young lady's already dealing with That's enough. Sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't need to compile on what's going on with her in this moment. For what? And I hate the internet blaming her, too. That's the. It's nasty. It's disgusting. It's nasty, it's yo. It's disgusting. It's nasty. You can't. You can't do that. You can't do that. She's just doing she, regular shit. She's going through enough. That too. She's going through. Enough. She suffered a loss. Right. I think we should. Yeah, man. So it's crazy. Uh, it's a crazy world we live in, man. It's fucked up, man. Fuck whoever did that shit to P and B Rock, man. That shit is fucked up, man. Um, you know he's worked, you know, real hard to get his, you know, jewelry. Um, you know, um, he stopped in and gets a, you know, a bite to eat, and he ends up losing his life. Um, you know, there's a lot of speculation going out there about, you know, who did it, whatever the case is, man. We don't know yet, so I ain't gonna really speculate on none of that. Um, but just in general. Um, man, it's just a, a fucked up time to be in, man. I mean, I got jewelry myself and, um, I'm really selective of where I wear it. Um, if I do end up wearing it, it's going to be in a place and, uh, you know, people I have around me, um, that's going to hold it down. Um, I'll leave it at that. But when it comes down to it, man, it's, it's just, uh, it's just a crazy world we live in, man, to think that, you know, you just, you know, you live in your life, you know, you successful, you made it. And, uh, excuse me, to get gunned down like that um, over jewelry or, you know, if it was some outside beef or inside beef, whatever it is, um, to just go out like that is, is just fucked up. Um, so, once again, RP to uh, P&B Rock. Um, let me know in the comment section, man. Like, comment, subscribe on this video, man. Uh, let me know if, you know, you think that DJ Academics, um, if you watch this stream, you know, you would have seen that. You know, he's basically basically like defending his side. Like, man, I put this out because I was the one, you know, rocking with him. I gave him the interview and he voiced it time and time again that, you know, these rappers and these people around him weren't, you know, fucking with him because he wasn't hot, um, which is, you know, crazy to think about it. And then now you the first one to post it, you know, oh, man, he was a real dude and you can't even get a text back. So. Um, I see both sides of the of the coin. I see what DJ Academics was saying when he, you know, put out the interview and why he did it. Um, I watched it, you know, um, and I kind of got, you know, what he was saying. Um, obviously, he never lived a street life, so he really don't know uh, what the fuck really, you know, what it's really about. Um, you know, he just voiced out, you know, he had some content and he was around him. He talked to him every day for about the last month of his life. And um, he felt the the need to put it out to, uh, you know, whatever his reason was. And, and Joe Budden obviously had his reasonings on why he think it was fucked up and he shouldn't have even put that out. Um, you know, whether, you know, my side is I watched the full P&B Rock interview before he died and all that shit. And I already had watched that. So it was already on Spotify. So, you know, if G- DJ Academics didn't put that clip out. He's still going to see, you know, people could still clip it and put it out again on YouTube or whatever it is. So it doesn't stop. What I would say if I was obviously doing a podcast with him is, you know, just because these academics put it out. What is to stop somebody else from clipping it and landing up on the Internet anyway? So um, I see both sides of the coin. Obviously, if you lost some people, you don't want to see you know, anything to, you know, shine some, you know, dark light on him. Um, but at the end of the day, man, um, you know, he did the interview. 
um you know and uh he he felt the need to put it out so let me know in the comment section what y'all think um do you think dj academic should have just re-uploaded basically because that's what he did um the piece of content he had of him talking about previous altercations he had and you know when he was with his girl and his family um people was trying to try him um and the same thing happened and that's how he goes um do you think that was right or do you believe you know what joe budden was saying as far as he should have just left it alone and uh just let it let it breathe man let me know what y'all think in the comment section man i'm 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 in the between between this uh two uh points of view um so shit, just let me know what y'all think man until the next time i'm out man